Chris Wright, Parker Klugerman, Wallace Allen, Brian Doza, and Jack Wood. All right, uh, Matt Kraft. How you doing? Wild finish. Let's hear from him now. Yeah, Matt Kraft, and making the walk back here to the pits. Uh, you know, summarize those last couple laps for me, and ultimately your run here at Talladega. Stupidity. Uh, everybody had drive through everybody, and that's, that's kind of what it was all day. I had a very fast car, Toyota Tundra. I thank the guys for putting us in position at the end, and just sheer stupidity. Obviously, your Thorsport team had a pretty good run there going at the end. How do you guys walk into Martinsville now knowing this situation? I have no idea what the points are, so we'll figure that out here in the next week or so. Taking a trip to the Infield Care Center, just getting double checked over that is Matt Crafton. He is currently 10 points on the positive side with one race to go before we know the championship four. As they stand right now, John Hardin-Lovichek, 36 points to the good. Ben Rhodes, plus 35. Matt Crafton is third, plus 10. And Sheldon Creed is plus five. He's currently the last driver in the championship four as we sit with Martinsville Speedway on the horizon. Stuart Friesen is on the outside by five points. Chandler Smith is out by 34. Carson Hosevar out by 37. And Zane Smith out by 42. So get ready, Martinsville. Here they come, the top trucks of NASCAR. By the way, 20 minutes away from live coverage of the NASCAR Xfinity Series right here on the Model Racing Network. This crew is going to hang exactly where we are and bring you a lot of coverage. Big double header here at the Talladega Super Speedway. So who is Tate Fogelman, who just won here at the Talladega Super Speedway, driving for Young Motorsports, 21-year-old driver out of Durham, North Carolina. Ryan London is the crew chief. Career start number 46 is one that he will never forget. No, and absolutely would not. I mean, you look at his numbers over the last handful of races, finished 37th, 25th, 20th, 21st. He did have a ninth place run in there, but for the most part, he has been underachieving. And he and that race team felt like they had good enough equipment to have an opportunity. You know, it's interesting, Jeff, we'll get back to Tate in a moment. The race winning truck is on the back of a, a tow truck right now that is absolutely destroyed. Yep. They're pulling that thing back in that heat. They're going to take that truck back and they're going to park that thing down there in Ruoff Mortgage Victory Lane. Uh, it's incredible and, and that is racing in town today. Sometimes you can drive your truck into Victory Lane. Sometimes you have to have the wrecker bring your beat up race truck and your driver come out of the infield care center and meet at Ruoff Mortgage Victory Lane. Well, they got together with Kate Fullman and Hill coming to the line. Tyler trying to take advantage when John Hunter Nemechek went around. Tyler went to the inside of Kate Fullman. As they came across the line, the two of them made contact and then they spun as well. By the way, Parker Kligerman ran the fastest lap today with a speed of all like this, 191.451. That top speed brought to you by Blue Green Vacations. Start your vacation journey today. BlueGreenVacations.com has more. Well, it's interesting. We talked about the, uh, the race winning truck on the back of a tow truck. Jeff, I'm not sure they're going to be able to get that truck in the rule off Morgan's Victory Lane. The tow truck driver is down there trying to figure out how to maneuver to get it around there. It's in front of Celebration Plaza Garage down there for the NASCAR Cup Series. There's a throng of people that get the opportunity to be down there and celebrate with the winner of any given race. And they're stacked up some 20 people deep. And the truck, the race wing truck, is on the tow truck behind the building for us in, and we're all more than victory lane. They gotta figure out how they're gonna get that truck around there. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to. Well, the good news is we won. The bad news is, well, we've got no driver here, we've got no truck here, but sooner or later, they will be uh, reacquainted, and that celebration will continue. It, I guess the only way to start the big program at winning truck is the last time we went to uh, the Baron for Demolition Derby, and you saw the, not the car that won, but the, the, the car that was the pinball, because to your point, there's not a, uh, I don't think there's a piece of sheet metal on that truck that's not bad, frankly, we're missing. He was even at the front of the race earlier on, too. If you remember that, in the closing laps, there was a lot of tape flapping in the breeze and some sheet metal. Uh, Tate Fogelman, what a drive. He was pointed towards the inside safer barrier with Tyler Hill as they came sliding across the finish line. 
neither truck was pointed in the right direction. Just a phenomenal finish. One we're going to talk about for a long, long time. I'm trying to think when was the last time we did a victory lane interview just outside the care center. Uh, we're going to do that here for you this afternoon, and then we will get ready for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Again, that coming up at the top of the hour. By the way, after that hard crash and the win, Kate has come from the care center, and we will be hearing from him in just a moment. So, uh, you never know what to expect when you come to Talladega. Like Barney Hall said, they don't race them anywhere in the world like they do here at Talladega, and that was never more true than what we saw here this afternoon. Yeah, and keep in mind, we still have the NASCAR Xfinity Series still to go. The Sparks 300 will be right here at Talladega, live flag to flag coverage coming up here on the Motor Racing Network in about, what, 14 or so minutes. We'll be back on the air to bring you live black and black coverage of the Sparks 300 for the Xfinity Series. And then tomorrow, the NASCAR Cup Series on hand around the Yellowwood 500. Motor Racing Network's airtime for that one tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. By the way, just another quick tip of the cap to Tyler Hill, the driver that came home second to take Fogelman. Tyler Hill scoring a career best. And well, let's hear from the man right now. Alex, what do you think? Let's go down to Ruoff Mortgage Victory Lane outside the Infield Care Center and Kim Coon. And Tate Fogelman has been released from the Care Center. Second series start at Talladega Super Speedway. First series win. Are you okay? And what was going through your mind that last lap? Yeah, I knew I just had to push as hard as I could. And my truck had damage on the front end, so it really sucked up. And, uh, Without the push from behind her, I don't think we would have gotten there. But I got the push from behind, that's pretty really aggressive. I knew no one was going to give any room, so uh, I mean, we, we uh, put down all that good push in there. Luckily, the seats were lining up, they came back that way. But uh, like I said, I can't thank the guys at Power Line TV, Trey Green, Safari Club, and Green Tree, all the people that put this thing together. This weekend, to get out of the house, 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 to get out of